baby. Chuck Rock is here. It is time for the great one, the YouTube people's champ. Oh, to do another reaction, baby. This video is brought to you by one of the millions of J-Rock's fans, video game player, man. He has requested that J-Rock take a look at the top 20 crotch shots in anime fight history. J-Rock says this, your request has been received. It has been granted now. Video games player, man, you go and you electrify like only you can. The rest of you, come on back so we can check this thing out. Hi, Lee. J Rock James, come back to you too. You too. What is happening in 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 with the million? <laughs> Oh, and the millions of J-Rock's fans from all over the world. That's right, baby. J-Rock is here. We're about to check out the top 20 uh, crotch chotch and anime fight history brought to you by one of the millions of J-Rock's fans and a uh, video games player, man. Uh, we're going to check this thing out. Drop your video uh, reaction request in the comment section below. If I choose you, you'll get a shout out from J-Rock himself. We're not going to waste some more time with this. You know what time it is. Show... <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're going to be counting down our picks for the most painful below the belt shots in anime. Oh, oh, bro. Yo. Hey, what is enough? Number 20, right in the Dragon Balls. Dragon Ball Z Super Android 13. <laughs> right. Over uh, the years, Goku sports all kinds of villains, including space tyrants, multiversal threats, literal gods, and more. But none of them have hurt him quite as bad as Android 13. <laughs> During their scuffle, a poorly timed attack leaves Goku's valuables wide open, and the fiend doesn't waste the opportunity. To put it lightly, Goku won't be summoning Shenron with these balls anytime soon. In fact, the blow hurt so bad, it knocked him completely out of Super Saiyan. After a wound like that, Damn. it's just amazing Goku was able to have a second kid at all. Look, J-Rock don't watch a whole lot of Dragon Ball Z, but I do know that if you get hit out of Super Saiyan, yeah, that's a big time shot right there. I'm just saying. No rhyme intended on that rhyme. Help me. Number 19, cut above or below the rest. Sword Art Online Alternative Gun Gale Online. This may be an online virtual reality game, but Len isn't here to play around. No, she's willing to do anything to lead her team to victory, even if it means going for the unmentionables. Those <laughs> fair, right? It feels especially mean-spirited because Len had a gun right there, and she clearly knew how to use it. But instead of taking the merciful route, Damn. she decided to slide right underneath her final opponent, bringing her knife with her. <laughs> oh, you could! Oh. His pained reaction yeah, says it that. all. Video game or not, that's a lethal blow. Number 18, Cutting Edge Service. Black Lagoon, Roberta's Blood Trail. Don't let the get up fool ya. Fabiola is no ordinary maid. Sadly for this bar thug, he realizes that a moment too late, and it ends up costing him his pride, his reputation, and his manhood. Hit him right in the this kid is heavy, real heavy. He only lowers his guard for a second, but that's all Fabiola needs to reveal the sharp blade in the heel of her boots. And then she kicks hard right in his nether region. Okay. Just the thought of it is enough to make anyone squirm, especially taking into account the pool of blood her handiwork leaves behind. Clearly, they don't call this season Blood Trail for nothing. Oh, now you've Take drawn your weapons. Times, I, I was hoping to avoid this. Number 17, Samurai Sack Splitter, Roroni Kenshin. <laughs> Yahiko trained long and hard for the moments he would finally be strong enough to protect those he cared about. And now, after all that work, he's officially ready to unveil his special technique. 
There's no need to mince words, it's a crot shot, plain and simple. Such a low blow isn't exactly befitting like of an honorable job. swordsman, but it gets the job done either way. Oh. Yahiko oh. really knows how to end a fight, that's all we're saying. After all, something tells us the evil Gohei won't be bothering anyone ever again, at least not if he values his privates. That's easy to say. Mm. <laughs> Number 16. Spread your legs and fly. The rising of the shield hero. After this, Motoyasu probably wishes he were the shield hero, or at least one that comes with some armor. Then again, it's hard to say if anything would have protected him from Philo's wrath. Fed up with Motoyasu's insults, the bird monster took it upon herself to kick the spear hero right in his personal spear. This was not a warning shot either. No, the force of it sent Motoyasu flying through the air to infinity and beyond. His team calls for a healer, but there is no magic in the entire world capable of mending this. Number 15, drop like a stone, Dr. Stone. In this semi-final match of the Grand Bout, Gen's conniving gives Chrome a free 60-second reprieve. But Chrome doesn't need that long to beat Magma. Actually, he only needs one hit. Since Magma was on fire, Chrome generously decided to give him a little nudge towards the water. Although, given the placement, Magma will probably be feeling this nudge for days to come, arguably more so than the actual burns. Still, Chrome's quick thinking might have saved Magma's life. His cojones, though, those are a different story, one with a much less happy ending. <laughs> Number 14, two in one, One Piece. Just because you can split yourself in two doesn't necessarily mean you should. Buggy had to learn that lesson the hard way. When he sent his torso after Nami, all he did was leave his lower half, including his junk, wide open for a counterattack. And unfortunately for the clown, <laughs> Luffy's never been one to pass up an easy win. Every part of Buggy feels the pain of Luffy's pelvic punch. As a result, it doesn't just save Nami, it turns the villain into a blubbering mess. Later, Luffy claims he's Buggy's real opponent, but from where we're standing, this fight is already over. <laughs> Number 13, Climb right Kick Succulents Succulents, Overlord. All things considered, this mission is pretty straightforward. Infiltrate the base, the find Succulents, and him. take him into custody. But ever the show off, Climb decided to have a little bit of fun first. He charges the eight finger leader with his uber powerful ability release, but that's just a decoy. Once he's made the opening, Climb finishes this scuffle with a critical hit to the Nads. <laughs> If succulent's reaction doesn't make you wince, the bone-crushing sound effects definitely will. The villain had to be captured Damn. alive, but considering what he just went through, that's more of a punishment than a mercy. <clears throat> Number 12, Ichigo goes hollow between the legs. Bleach. While we're not saying that Ichigo couldn't do with some improvement when it comes to speaking to the ladies in his life, this particular lesson in etiquette was way more painful than it had to be, mostly due to Nell landing a point-blank blow straight to the family jewels. Ah, <laughs> 
While berating him for not discussing Orihime's weight with more subtlety, the Iron Cars lesson is slightly dampened due to the fact that Ichigo probably spent the whole conversation focused on how his personal Zanpakuto might now have a dent in it. Number 11, Zatch gets it in the bells. Zatch Bell. Just goes to show that even a pint-sized Mamado of unbelievable power like Zatch isn't that different from us regular folk. And by that we mean a solid kick to the balls still leaves him in absolute agony. However, in this instance, the pain of getting his magical beads shattered courtesy of Brago just about saved his life. Oh, oh. If not for that timely intervention, <laughs> Zatch could have been skewered by Maestro. Thankfully, his frenemy was there to block the attack with his foot, which just happened to be on an upward trajectory that coincided with Golden Gash's bells. Ding ding. <laughs> Number 10, Gin loses his Tama. Gin Tama. Only in this show could you have a tag team wrestling match that results in our hero desperately trying to magically reattach his balls. Never change, oh sweet silver soul. Taking on love rival Doman, for the most part, Gintoki looks all set to win his fight Aww. by a landslide, only to Damn. accidentally fall into Ghetto Maru's massive spiked club. <laughs> <laughs> As a result, his chance at having a family are left rolling all over the ring, which leads the way to Doman and Seimei engaging in a mystical showdown where they repeatedly use Gintoki's pride and joy. <laughs> this one okay. hurts to watch. <laughs> Number 9, Sagara grinds oh some nut powder. God. Full Metal Panic for Mofu. For those of you that looked at the original military action series and thought, give me more of that sweet high school romantic comedy, welcome to Nirvana. <laughs> oh! Not only is this a hilarious addition to FMP's content catalog, but also has this delightful scene. Ever wonder how someone like Sagara would best a karate master? Simple, toss a grenade at him, knock him down to the floor, and repeatedly blast his yam bag until it's nothing but dust. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Number eight, Lucy's Great Escape, Fairy Tale. There's no better tactic for escaping imprisonment than nailing the jailer in his nutmegs and making a clean getaway. In this instance, Lucy had to try a lot harder than most, given how she was being held captive by none other than Phantom Lord's leader, Jose, though the results still ended up turning out the same. <laughs> Using the old I got a pee trope, Lucy managed to outwit the creepy geezer by agreeing to do it in a bucket. <laughs> the moment he turned around, wham. Who needs magic when you've got leg day? <laughs> <laughs> Number 7, My Hero Clackadamia. My Hero Academia. Deku may be used to breaking bones thanks to the force of his own quirk, but this might be the most devastating injury yet. A potent strike to the scrotum, courtesy of a brat with issues named Coda. <laughs> Damn. Well, the two would later reconcile down the line, as no getting away from just how devastating this initial encounter was. Do you have anything left to say, young man? Just be thankful that Uraraka didn't send you hurtling into space for hurting a future hubby. Number 6, grabbing Frankie by the nuts and bolts. One Piece. Well, we can think of worse ways to convince a guy to join a pirate crew. 
After the events of Eni's lobby, Frankie is left with no choice but to join the Straw Hats on their whirlwind adventures now that he's got a bounty. Of course, it wasn't easy to win him over, though thankfully Robin had the obvious solution. Use her devil fruit to create a pair of hands that hold his robo balls in a vice grip until he submits. This probably looked a lot more different in Frankie's head when he imagined Miss Sunday getting a handful of his processing power. Oi, Robin! Number 5. Hoka Gonads Destroyed Naruto Shippuden Jeez, where was this kid when the fourth great ninja war was going down? He straight up crunched Naruto's fox cubs in a single devastating punch before waltzing away without a care. While the agony of getting his little friend smashed to pieces is quite palpable, at least Naruto can now take some solace in the fact that, yet again, this was only filler. Because if it wasn't, then it's likely Boruto would never have existed. Number 4. Erekpal Dukakis Gets Castrated Ixion Saga DT a spiked boot right to the meat kiwis? No one deserves to go down that road, meat not even kiwi. a pompous jerk like this guy. <laughs> Unfortunately for the leader of Incognito, his injury was so severe that a doctor ended up having to surgically remove them for his own safety. <laughs> Whether you feel immense sympathy for a wreck pile over here, or can't get enough of watching Khan hit his crackers on loop, it can't be denied that he had been set up for failure since birth. Yeah, his name is a reference yeah, let, to ED. Yeah, Way to that. fulfill your destiny, man. <laughs> Number 3. Pickleball Baki Hanma no matter who he goes up against, Baki knows that every man has a weakness between the legs. And unlike some other fighters, he's willing to exploit that for all it's worth. Oh! Keep in mind, Baki's blows are strong enough to crack stone, and Pickle is only wearing a loincloth. So the question yeah. isn't whether this crotch shot hurts, it's how the hell Pickle's still conscious at all. He's never been one to quit, but seriously, no one should have to live through a hit like that. Evidently, the onlookers are right when they say that low blows always work. <laughs> Number 2. <laughs> Nut Punch Man One Punch oh, Man no. Not exactly the most heroic way to take down an enemy, but then again, if Sonic was as good of a ninja as he said he was, then maybe he could have found a way to not land crotch first into the fist of the world's strongest man. <laughs> Thinking Saitama to be easy prey, the villainous shinobi sought to cut him to pieces with his superior speed, only to find himself unceremoniously colliding with what is arguably the deadliest weapon in all of anime. Checkmate. All we can say is R.I.P. Sonic Stones. There is no coming back from that. No. Oh. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our Ooh. channel and ring the bell to get <laughs> notified about our know. latest videos. You have the option oh, to be Lord. notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Denji the Dong Devil I Chainsaw Man in, uh, Denji doesn't take too kindly to being shrugged part. off, so the moment Aki smugly turns his back, the Chainsaw Devil gets even with an earth-shattering kick to the groin. <laughs> For what it's worth, Aki stays on his feet long enough to throw a few blows himself. But not even he can withstand round two from Denji's nutcracker technique. Bro, how you? Bro, how you ain't? 
Aki falls to his knees and then passes out entirely. We can't blame him. Obviously, Denji knew what he was doing, and that made for a scene that's genuinely painful to sit through. Quite frankly, it may have cost Aki his chance of being a father. <laughs> Which crotch shot had you turning away from the screen? Let us know if it made our list in the comments below. Did you enjoy this video? Hey, Rock says this. Uh, the One Punch Man one? Whoo! That one hurt. That probably was the worst one for me. Because I knew... You, 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 you know it's coming with the One Punch Man. You know it's coming. But for, your, for, for you to land your jewels... You see, it, you, it, most, most of the guys take that, that, that blow to the face and to the... To the, to the torso area. Bro, man, took it in his package. Mm, and his Johnson. And his, and his tally knackle. Woo! Okay. Y'all tell me which one made y'all flinch the most. I'm going to say the, 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 the Satiman one, the One Punch Man one. Yeah, that one made me flinch the most. All right. The Chainsaw Man, it was just, it didn't make me flinch. It just made me like, yo, chill, okay, you know. Anyway, post your comments down below. Let J-Rock know what starts your reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. If you enjoyed the great one's reaction, the like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Stay tuned for my next video. Mamba, GG, and Wakanda forever. If you smell! La, la, la. What chain rock?